if you want a better life, you have to have some skin in the game. And that says the first thing you have to do is restrict calories. And by restricting calories, that's the number one way to activate AMPK. So again, unless you basically address that 800 pound grill in the room, you're going nowhere. Hi, and welcome to the Wellness Zone podcast. I'm Mary Perry, and I'm joined by the one and only Dr. Barry Sears. <laughs> Each week, we break down the science behind wellness, metabolism, and how your diet can keep them in check. And today, we're launching back into the fascinating topic of metabolic engineering. So Dr. Sears, we know that getting to optimal health doesn't happen overnight. It takes time and a solid plan. And since I know you are a huge Battlestar Galactica fan, let's use this analogy. What if the journey to better health was like launching a rocket into space? What are the three critical stages that will ultimately get you to your destination? Well, first of all, let's ask, what is our destination? Okay. First of all, we want to improve our metabolism. Okay, that doesn't say much. Now, we, want to, we do that by eliminating insulin resistance. And that's kind of vague. So let's be even more specific. The zone can be defined as activation of the master switch of metabolism, AMPK. That's where you want to get to. But that's point B. Point A is where we're starting right now. So now let's use that rocket ship analogy. <laughs> let's say we want to go to a, just take a payload of astronauts to a space station. Now we need to put them on a rocket. That rocket usually has three stages. The very big stage gets you off the ground, and uh, but only off the ground. It's the next two stages that allow you to fine tune that journey so you eventually can make the docking at the space station. So that's why we can now look at metabolic engineering from that standpoint. The first stage, the obligatory first stage to get off the ground has to be calorie restriction. I said, oh no, it's so hard, can I have a pill? The answer is no. <laughs> so if you don't have calorie restriction, all the other aspects of metabolic engineering, which basically are now putting in the nutrients you don't have in the diet, like omega-3 fatty acids and polyphenols, are not going to work very well. And that's why you can look at the three stages of metabolic engineering and say 60% of your success will come from calorie constriction. How long? For the rest of your life. And the reason is because metabolism is dynamic. So we had to have restrict calories. Then that's about 60% of your uh, effort. Another 30% comes from taking adequate levels of omega-3 fatty acids. Why? Because they reduce inflammation, but they also indirectly activate AMPK. And the final 10% comes from taking polyphenols. Uh, they are kind of, kind of fine-tuning mechanism. They're not nearly as powerful as the omega-3 fatty acids, nor nearly as powerful as the calorie restriction for activating AMPK, but there are useful last-minute adjustments to make sure you can dock at the space station. And this is why you see people say, you know, calorie restriction is so hard, just take my magic pill and it'll work. And saying, might as well buy the Brooklyn Bridge. It's not going to happen. <laughs> so think of that, basically, your journey to the zone, a zone as a rocket ship with three stages. And as long as each stage basically ignites at the right time, you're likely to get to the zone. And what does that mean for you? A longer and better life. So Dr. Sears, which part of this journey, I know you've just talked about this a bit, but do you think people struggle with the most and why? Well, the answer is easy, calorie restriction. Mm -hmm. I'm always hungry. I wanna eat the things I'd like to eat. Say, get a life. <clears throat> if you want a better life, you're gonna have to basically, you have to have some uh, skin in the game. And that says the first thing you have to do is restrict calories. It doesn't mean the diet has to be bland, but you have to restrict calories. This is how drugs like Ozempic work. They're not magical drugs. They do one thing. They restrict calories. And by restricting calories, that's the number one way to activate AMPK. Not totally, but about 60% of your journey is coming from restricting calories. Mm -hmm. So again, unless you basically address that 800 pound grill in the room, you're going nowhere. And, you know, Dr. Sears, I know that turning to a pill or a drug is an easier step, but why shouldn't people turn towards an Ozempic or something, even though it seems so much easier than just focusing on the diet and calorie restriction? Well, because it's easy. <laughs> exactly that. It's easy. I take an injection once, once a week and my hunger stops. Now, have you changed your diet? No. First of all, how do you get in your problem in the first place? 
eating too much bad food. Now, with Ozempic, your hunger is decreased, so you eat less bad food. It's still bad. It's deficient in omega-3 fatty acids. It's deficient in polyphenols. But at least, basically, it's easy. That'd be great if it had no side effects. But it does. Mm -hmm. And that's why about half the people who start Ozempic, and especially those who have really uh, you know, chronic disease conditions, quit after two years. Why? The side effects. Mm -hmm. Drugs do have side effects, and Ozempic has a lot of side effects. But if you're taking Ozempic, great. You're 60% of the way to your goal. Keep on taking the Ozempic, not changing your diet at all, which means you are now the omega-3 fatty acids and the polyphenols become even more critical to get you to the zone. Mm -hmm. But so Ozempic is getting a push, but it's not going to get to your final de destination. Right. So the diet is really important. And there aren't shortcuts per se, um, but we do have a couple shortcuts uh, in the zone. So do you want to talk a little bit about how zone foods make it a bit easier? Well, uh, I stated 30 years ago, the way to get to the zone and ready to restrict calories without hunger is following the zone diet. It's defined. You need a certain amount of protein, a balance of carbohydrates, and requires a little thinking. People say, oh my God, my brain's exploding. Stop. <laughs> so so hey, what's the solution? Either take Ozempic the rest of your life with the side effects, or can you develop food products that basically have built in all the precision of the zone diet, but in a format that's easy to use, hedonically pleasing, and more importantly, easy to clean up. And that's why the zone foods became important. Our first zone foods we tested clinically uh, were the zone pasta and zone cereals. Now, we did this under controlled studies, and what did we find out? The fact is the people on our calorie-restricted program in our active group, they gained lean, mu uh, lean body mass and they lost fat. The other group, eating the same number of restricted calories, their insulin resistance did not go down, they're, they lost uh, you know, lean body mass, and their body fat didn't go down that much. But now we were able now to con compare our studies we did seven years ago with those Olympic studies. Now, what happens? We can compare them and say, on using the zone foods, only for half the calories, the, basically the people lost more fat and gain more muscle mass than Ozempic. Mm -hmm. They say, well, that's impossible. Ozempic's a drug. Say, yeah, it's not a very good drug, but it's a drug. But the fact is, these zone foods, and we now have a far greater variety, allows you to have greater choices to basically control the levels of calorie restriction without hunger, mm -hmm. without fatigue, and that's the number one stage that gets you toward the zone. Now, do we want you to eat zone foods the rest of your life? Nope. Well, our chief financial officer, yes, yes. <laughs> no, no. These, these are tools, the tools that show you you can stop hunger, not by injections, but by using hedonically pleasing food products. And what really makes the calorie restriction part easy is that you can, like you said, you can do fresh foods, you can do our foods, you can do a combination, but we pretty much can meet people wherever wherever they're at. And then the other difference too, is that this isn't just a quick fix. You can't just go take other pastas and get the same results for insulin resistance. Like there's science behind everything uh, we do. So, and that's, that's really important. Well, not only science, but basically clinical studies. Right. You say, show me the studies. You say, what studies? And you say, that's why you do clinical research. You know, people, anyone can say, I have a magic pill. Say, show me the data. They said, oops, uh, come back in a couple of years. Uh, so that's why you, if you have an idea, you test it out, not in rats, you test it out in humans. Mm -hmm. And way, basically, if you get good human studies, say, okay, we're on our way. Now, Ozempic, it's a forever drug. If you want to basically keep the weight off, you have to use this drug forever. And in many ways, the zone diet is a forever diet. It's a diet that helps you restrict calories without hunger, without fatigue, and that gets you off the launching pad. And when you add adequate levels of the omega-3 fatty acids and adequate levels of polyphenols, then you will get to your target. You'll get to the zone, which is really the activation of AMPK, the master switch of metabolism. We're going to get that rocket to the docking station. <laughs> Dr. Sears, if people want to learn more about zone foods and metabolic engineering, where should they go? Well, if you want to know, learn, learn more about metabolic engineering, go to drsears.com. If you want to learn more about zone foods, I'd go to zoneliving.com. 
And therefore, hey, why not go to both places? Learn the <laughs> science and then basically use the products that make that science easy to integrate in your daily life for the rest of your life.